The mark of a true competitor is the ability to block out all of the extraneous information, forget where you are, and compete for the goal at hand. Well, that step is a little bit easier here at Misty Mountain because we don't really know where we are, but everybody's okay with that. We are here, it's foggy, and we're ready to race. You have to qualify first, though. Quite unexpectedly, however, Smokey, the coach of the Hazers, actually chose Cloudy, but not the captain, Misty, to participate in their home race. Also, Hazy, a winner here in the first time that we visited this track, is nowhere to be seen for this one in this season, so you have to make do with what you have. But the Hazers, being a team that has broken the host curse, are up to the challenge. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. The forecast is missed, <laughs> and you're not going to want to miss this qualifying as Razzie kicks things off. The Hazers have to be feeling good hosting Marbula 1 when they are in the lead of the championship, when they have the championship leading marble in Cloudy, who is not going to race here this weekend. Razzie comes through and sets the, the opening time to beat. And the Raspberry Racers well down in the order, nearly dead last, hoping to turn things around at some point, but the season's running out on them. They're losing that chance. Stinger comes through purple in sector one. This is an extremely fast lap, by the way. I am not going to be able to talk about all of these marbles, but we're going to try. Stinger goes into second place as we are on the opening 10 marbles in this Q1 elimination format. Sirius, one tenth off down in third. On such a short lap with so much that can go wrong and so much speed that can be carried, simple mistakes can add up to tenths of a second in what I imagine is going to be a very close field. Thunder perhaps proving me wrong as I say that. Seven tenths off, but Tumult is quick. Nearly two hundredths ahead. Lost it in the final sector. Goes second to Razzie. As the race is feeling pretty good about that. Hart also nearly a tenth of a second ahead through sector one. Purple there, green through the last two, and it really dropped off. Hart finishes back in sixth place. Quasar. 58 thousandths ahead, and that all falls off by the end. So many marbles seem to be focusing on that first sector, but very few have been able to nail the final sector. Shimmer has gone off the rails several times here, nearly two seconds adrift. Ouch. Here comes Iceberg, looking pretty good through the first two sectors. Across the line here, lost a tenth and a half, and goes fifth. So Shimmer. Marvel, whose last outing yielded zero points, is now on the bubble. We start the second half of the running order, and every Marvel that runs, one will be eliminated. Billy, tenth of a second off, through the first two sectors, trending for fourth, and nails that third sector. Must have been listening to the commentary. <laughs> yes. Oh, man, cleared the field by two-tenths of a second. The Green Ducks go up into P1. They are safe and guaranteed to move on. Pinky Winky and Shimmer are eliminated. Clementon now, purple ahead of the P1 time. One turn to go here, and Clementon takes the top spot. Billy and Razzie are also safe. Thunder has been eliminated. Red Eye going to the inside of that turn around the double right-hander. Will that pay off? Purple through the middle sector, needs to make up time and doesn't. Goes sixth, not safe yet. Hart is done, and that bottom what it will be. Mocha drops there as well as Ecto goes up to a fine third place and is safe. Tumult down in fifth is the lowest ranked marble who is safe so far. Momo across the line, half a second back. Ninth. That is precarious. Quasar is out. Iceberg is on the bubble. Rima is very close, challenging for a top time even with a poor middle sector and goes up to third. Stinger is safe. Iceberg eliminated. Momo on the bubble now. Here comes Cerulean with a rather unkempt middle sector. And goes 16th, and is out. Speedy, also needing to pick up time. Across the line there. One tenth down into third. Here's Cloudy. Hopping through, the Hazers watching ever so intently across the line, safe. Cloudy and the Hazers will be moving on to Q2. The home team is still alive for the pole shootout. Man, that was quick. I hope you could catch your breath after that. The ultimate Q1 time adding the best sectors together, 15.844, but Clementon will sit alongside Billy on the front row. 
Fans of the Hazers pretty happy to see Cloudy get into Q2, although probably several are wondering how former captain Hazy might have done. Manager Shade said Hazy's not coming back to the team. Well, either way, we are ready to go. A quick turnaround as we head into Q2. It's a three-lap shootout for Paul, and Speedy is up into second place and is trying to track down Clementon. Billy also meandering side to side, looking to get by the Savage Speeders and can't get it done quite yet. Across the line for the first lap, it comes. This would be a mighty quick race. Three laps will come at you in under one minute, and we will know who's going to be starting on pole. It's Clementon leading Speedy. Billy back behind. Cloudy holding on in fourth. Would love to get up there on the first row. Then it's Razzy, Rima, Ecto, Red Eye, Stinger, and Tumult in the bottom of the top ten. Clementon across the line there. We've just passed 38 seconds, and we're ready for the final lap. Not a ton of changes in position, unlike what we usually see in the race here. Those top three about equidistant as they drop down. This front stretch here, weaving through those two right-handers. Here comes Speedy, a challenge for the lead. Can't get it done. Clementon will be on pole for the Grand Prix at Misty Mountain. Speedy will start on the front row. Cloudy does make up one spot. The Hazers' hopes will sit directly behind the pole sitter at Lights Out tomorrow. Clementon, first pole ever. Home racer Cloudy ranked third. And these hazers are absolutely buzzing. Did the mist stop them from seeing how wonderful that was for their team? Not a chance. The hazers lead the championship. Savage speeders are up there, or Rangers in eighth. It's going to be an interesting battle tomorrow, and we hope you'll tune in. Thanks for watching, everyone.